Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all All-Stars games for the Sony PlayStation 2. So the best part about the All-Stars games and right from the bat from the first game All-Star Spaceball 2002 are the many options you get when playing. For example, you can play a full classic 162 game season mode or you get the ability to disable interleague play and you can play balanced matches when where you play against every other team with similar frequency or you can play unbalanced where you play more games against teams in your division. You can also play a half season, a three game round robin and other game modes like exhibition, home run derby, all star game, world series and batting practice. You are also granted the ability to create your own player and you can create up to 25 created players that you can save on the memory stick. In team management you can draft players, set lineups, set pitching staffs, trade players, sign free agents and check out statistics for hitting and pitching in 44 different categories. Also the pitch and batting controls are nicely done, meaning that they feel comfortable. And the animations and physics are nicely done and have some realism to them and lots of nice little touches. It's no wonder since the animations are motion capture. The 30 stadiums look very detailed and overall it's a great game. In All Stars 2003 you get in addition to what I said in the previous game a franchise mode. And it's pretty detailed, you can play for 20 seasons and then in the franchise mode, you get the other franchise mode stuff like managing salaries or trading players. And in exhibition matches, you can play with both MLB teams and All-Stars teams. But even if the game has nice additions, it has bad ones too, the controls. I think they tried to make the game more realistic, but failed. Either the game works faster or the buttons don't respond well. The game doesn't feel as comfy as the first one and also many bugs appear like collision not working right or the match stops and doesn't proceed to the next phase of the game. All Stars 2004 brings more content. The game has 54 teams and 75 stadiums and more than 110 All Star players. And beside the already plenty game modes you've got in the other games which are present here too, you also get a trivia game and a scenario mode, where the game throws you into a historical match and from a certain point in the game you have to win. The franchise mode is deeper now, granting you even the ability if you want to create your own team with their own uniform, name and stadium, you can adjust lineups, send players to the minors and propose trades to other teams, you'll also need to keep track of injuries, deal with contract renewals and allocate funds to your coaching, medical and development, uh, developmental staff. The franchise mode includes the amateur draft that occurs every year in June as well as the winter meetings and arbitration mo moves that occur during the off season. Also the game has less bugs than the previous game. And All Stars 2005 has the performance tweaked so that now little to no bugs appear. So the game is pretty much bug free. Also the online component is denser now, but that doesn't really matter now anymore as the servers are down. Another difference from the previous game is that it has less teams. Aside of the 30 official MLB teams you get 15 more, unlike the previous one that had 24 more. So in this one instead of 54 teams you get only 45. Also there is a stadium tour mode, a new game mode that well, it isn't actually a game mode, but you get it. It's it's a new mode, the Stadium Tour mode, and it does exactly what the title says. In rest, the game has everything the other games had, and the pitching and batting mechanics feel finally comfortable again. And you can tweak them so that it fits both casual players and hardcore simulation lovers. There are multiple control schemes you can choose from, also small details in presentation makes the game worth your money.